Hi there, my name is Cuppy Kate, and welcome back to Wolf Quest, A Watchful Heart with Mikhail. So Mikhail just got done checking on Aurora, and I'll say after the last episode, I may have to retract something that I said. I was thinking really long and hard about how time-wise things would play out. It's really difficult when you're playing different wolves in different games, and even if they're in the same timeline, matching up things. And I kind of thought about it. I'm not actually sure Mikhail would know that Dawn is gone yet because Dusk does try so hard to stick it out. Like he tries to raise those pups on his own. He tries so, so hard that he ends up nearly starving to death, making sure that they eat. He does a lot for those pups, but he doesn't immediately go to Mikhail and leave them there. He tries everything he can to be a good dad to them and so I'm not actually sure that Mikhail would know just yet but he is worried he has not heard her howl in a long time um in a few days I should say but that's a long time for him not to hear her howling and so he's worried but he doesn't quite know anything yet so I'm going to retract what I said in the last episode Mikhail does not know that Dawn is dead right now um and Currently where he's at, Teo has not joined him yet. So I know y'all watched Teo's last episode on Wednesday, at least I hope you did. And Teo did decide to reunite the family. And so he's not quite there yet. We're going to get there in the end. But I was thinking long and hard about it. And I was like, oh no, Mikhail, are you going to have to pass out right here? Yes, you are. It's fine. I understand. <laughs> um... But I have a feeling that Dusk would actually show up, like, maybe a day or two right after Teo showed up. And so, once we get to that point, I'll kind of go into a little more in depth, especially in a wolf talk. I have a feeling that I'm going to have a lot of stuff I need to go into for a wolf talk after we've kind of done all of these uh, series with our wolves. We have a lot to go over. Mikhail, it would have been so cool if your luck had panned out and I just like grabbed something. Well, Mikhail's at 0% wakefulness, so he's just gonna have to sleep out in the field tonight. But no, where Mikhail currently is in this story, neither Teo or Dusk has come to him yet. We're still trying to get the pup's weight up. Ooh, something healed. This is good. We honestly should actually do a weight check as soon as he wakes up. Okay, we're getting closer, but we're not quite there yet. I'm kind of hoping to push through on this episode so we can kind of stay together. But the pups are hungry. We need to bring them some food and do some more sleeping if possible. Perfect! <laughs> so Mikhail was actually able to grab a small fawn for his pups and he is heading back right now. He's still relatively full because he doesn't really need to stretch his stomach out for them as much as he used to now that they are eating fresh meat and he doesn't need to regurgitate anymore. Wouldn't it be great though to find another babby, a bigger babby to take to them? <laughs> what? 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 That's odd. There's just a hair carcass right here. Did an eagle drop it? Mikhail's luck continues to prevail. Let's go. And here we are back at the rendezvous site and Mikhail drops off fresh food for his very, very hungry puppies who are trying to leave. Children, no, come on. Come on, Slate, you too. There's food over here if you would just not be so far from the den. So how is Kirby doing? So she's a little bit hungry, but currently our pups, Slate is at 17.8 pounds, Heidi's 18.3, what a big girl she is. Kestrel is 17.1, Juniper's 18.3, just as big as her sister, Heidi. Fallow is 17.5 and Athena is 17.8. I'm not sure we're actually gonna have a runt in this litter. Everybody looks pretty much around the same as far as weight goes. Are you guys going to eat all of that? Am I going to have to find you more food? Probably. Did I roll for today's difficulty? No, I didn't. Give me a moment. So not hearing Don's howls for several days has now set in and is causing him to worry greatly. 
but he's trying very hard to avoid Dawn because she was so annoyed with him when he was there. But he does want to check on her. But he might wait a few days and see if he doesn't just hear her howl in passing. Are the pups all fed now? Is everybody fed? Perfect. I think Mikhail's literally just gonna pass out. He needs sleep, he needs to catch up on sleep. The pups need to grow, and tomorrow him and Kirby are gonna have to find some food a little closer to the den. Their last kill was just a bit too far away. So Mikhail's just kind of checking the scents in the air. He does smell the faintest bit of grizzly, and so that's got him a little on edge, but otherwise he just smells prey, which is very encouraging. These pups have already run out of food, so he's going to play with them a little bit, tell them he'll be back with something for them to eat. But him and his mother must go hunt, and hopefully they can bring back some fresh kill. Alright, Kirby is already on her way to follow the trail, and Mikhail's going to tuck these pups into the grass so that he can follow her. And here we go, a herd, <laughs> finally. Now they aren't going to be weak. Usually the elk are not weak at all in, <laughs> Kirby just read again, in the springtime. But our wolves need just a little bit more than what is on their calves. Ah, we found a spike elk that's low. I forget that the spike elks are usually very weak in the springtime. So we're going to be chasing this one down. Gosh, Kirby is just getting into it as she always does. Spacebar, would you like to do your thing? I would love that. And there we go. Now we are in Crevice Lake territory, which is a little bit intimidating. Um, but it doesn't matter. I don't think Mikhail cares at this point. You know, I think he sees that whole herd and he's like, there's enough food for everyone. So instead of causing a battle or a fight, he's just going to try and howl and make his mark here so he can enjoy his meal and then Crevice Lake can take it back if they want to. Mikhail's not really a violent wolf. He'd prefer to take territory rather than take lives. And he has a big enough territory of his own, but he does want to eat in peace. He worked very hard for this kill. If Crevice Lake gets the rest of it after he's done, then so be it. Mikhail did catch the scent of a deer carcass and he was really tempted to go see and mark it for later, but he's reminded that his spike elk should last him several days and so he's not gonna do that. Instead, he's going to send Kirby back and he's gonna look for something that they can eat. Oh wow, there's another carcass just here. Very interesting. Coyote, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it if I were you. Well, he did ask for it, but Mikhail doesn't feel like taking a life today. So instead he'll just howl at this carcass as well. Even Kirby's gonna come across it, how lucky. No, Fallow, you can't fall ill. We're almost done, little one. Oh, there it is, yes. Perfect. Well, we need to rush home. Fallow has now fallen ill. Mikhail doesn't know that quite yet, but hopefully this fresh kill will help send some healing through Fallow's body with the blood of a young ungulate. As sad as it is, it does help our pups grow and heal when they are sick. What in the world? Ow. I deserved that, it's okay. I shouldn't have killed it. I already had one. Oh no! Wait, this is a problem. Wait, oh dear. Okay, well maybe I can move the scent marker. <laughs> Mikhail, how does that happen to you? I don't understand. I just don't get it. Okay, maybe I can come back for it. I don't think I'm that far. Hello, my loves. Fallow eats. I have more food for you. I'll be right back. I'm just following in my footprints. And here you go, pops. Even more food. <laughs> well, even though Fallow isn't feeling all that well, it seems like their spirits are high. Mikhail's gonna teach some confidence real quick. Oh, good job, Fallow! And some play. 
I do worry sleeping now, but we are going to have to regardless of Fallow being sick. Perhaps Mikhail can take Fallow on some territory taking tomorrow. But the pups are full. Mikhail is at 9%, but every second counts with a sick pup. So he will lay here and work on some affinity with his beautiful children and give Fallow some comfort that is much needed when you don't feel good as a pup. Juniper, why are you leaving? Your father just went to go get a rabbit. Goodness gravy. Juniper, you cannot leave. Juniper! <laughs> the affinity isn't even that low, Juniper! Come on. This way. Fallow, where are you? <laughs> she just flops over. Fallow, come on. Fallow seems to like to be by themselves. Juniper isn't that they want to be by themselves. I think they just want to be adventurous and do whatever they want. But Fallow does seem to be a bit lonely. Just in nature. Or want to be lonely, I should say. <laughs> oh, it is a stormy, stormy morning, but Mikhail slept next to Fallow all night long. Fallow has only dropped to 73%, which isn't too bad, and all of the pups have officially made it over 18 pounds. So after the pups have eaten, I think that Mikhail is going to take Fallow on a trip with him to hopefully take some more territory back. Already their borders up against Crevice Lake have kind of diminished, and they need just some more reinforcement. So he's going to spend some time doing that. Hopefully Kirby stays. I'm not holding my breath, though. <laughs> Fallow is just not having this little adventure with her dad. <laughs> she just wants to go straight back home. He's almost done. She's just going to have to put up with it for a little while longer. Oh, Fallow is fussing because Mikhail is trying to hold on to her so tightly. A boar grizzly is running across the field, but he's guarding her carefully. He's going to try and pass him and head to the kill so that Fallow can possibly eat food straight off the carcass. Well, it looks like Fallow's only interest is getting home. So Mikhail's going to take a few bites, keeping a careful eye on her, and then they will return to the rendezvous site. Hopefully the time spent together today will make a difference in her healing. But you never do know, sometimes no matter how hard you try, no matter how much time you spend with them, no matter how much food you bring them, they don't make it. But I'm hoping that isn't true for Fallow. Well, Mikhail's pretty exhausted now with only 3% left, but they're gonna make it home just fine. I can see the names in the distance, but he's keeping a close eye on Fallow as she walks back on her own to the rendezvous site. To Mikhail, she looks really healthy despite the fever that she's running, and he's really hoping that she has the strength of her mother and can pull through this, but he's very hopeful as he walks with her. I have no idea why Slade is just leaving. Okay, good. Kirby called him back. Come on, Fallow. We're almost there. Aw. It looks as though Slate is coming to greet Fallow, who's not coming anymore, so we're going to have to grab her. We don't have any energy left for this. So we're just going to do our best to make it back. Eee! Come on, Slate. You too. It's time to sleep. Slate is not lost. I just saw him. He's fine. You only have to survive so much longer. It looks as though our minor injury healed, but Fallow is still sick. Now all the way down to 38%. That is quite frightening. And with Kestrel as low in pounds as she is, we could lose Fallow. <laughs> I did not really expect that, nor do I want that for Fallow. We spent a lot of time with her yesterday, so this is a bit concerning. Mikhail's going to put the pups away. They're in desperate need of food, and so he's going to make sure he takes the time to get them some. It's really sad when you see a deer mom that has more than one kid because she'll work really hard to protect one, and then she'll leave the others. It's really heartbreaking. Hi, babies. I have brought more food, which is good. We were out of food and Fallow can't heal without food. Oh, perfect. And we'll get to spend a little bit more time with her while she eats. 
Now, Mikhail's a little hungry. I'm sure Kirby is too at 72%. Oh yeah. But I think we need to make sure we're spending time with Fallow right now. I don't want to be racing off doing more hunting, finding kills, or even taking territory unless she is with us at all times. She needs our attention. She needs a full belly. I really don't want to lose her. Mikhail has not lost a pup yet, which is insane. That doesn't usually happen. I don't want his luck to just dwindle now. He's about to have a lot of heartbreak when Dusk finally arrives. I mean, when Teo finally arrives, that's going to be amazing. But I don't want him to be just troubled with sorrow and loss when Teo arrives. Gosh, these pups are so close. So Slate is at 19.4. Heidi is 20 pounds. She's, she's done. She's made it. Kestrel's 18.7. Come on, Kestrel, we're counting on you. Juniper is close behind Heidi at 19.9. Fallow's 19.2, but still just that 33% is scaring me, y'all. And then we have Athena at 19.5. Come on, Fallow, we need you to pull through, love. We might wolf the pups. Oh boy, I don't actually see them. Kirby's protecting that grass patch. Mikhail's protecting Fallow. Okay, here we go. Oh, there was two of them. Wow. They, whoa, one came from this side, one came from that side. That's insane. But we're okay. None of the pups were injured. We still have six babies. Oh, thank gosh. I think now Mikhail's just going to lay here next to Fallow. Until his energy runs out. So I'm taking a risk and sleeping. I was all the way down to like 8%. Oh no, a new pup is sick. Oh, this is so bad. What is going on? Heidi is now fallen ill. Fallow's at 8%. Phil pups, go back in. Go back in, go back in, go back in. What is going on? What is going on? Why is Fallow so low? And who is attacking? Prospect Peak? What? I didn't even think we were that close to them. Get away from my pups. Get away from them right now. Oh, jeez. Mikhail is not in the mood. Fallow is really sick and she's dwindling and he is panicked beyond all panicked. He doesn't know what to do. Jeez. Oh my gosh. 7%. This is not good. This is really, really not good. Okay. Um, so I'm going ahead and checking the weight. So it really is just Kestrel that's behind right now. It's really making me worried though. The pups need to come out and eat, but there's no food left. But I can't leave Fallow alone. We are in a predicament right now. And not just that, but this is around the time that Teo is probably on his way. Now, Mikhail doesn't know that, but he keeps hearing howls that is familiar. And he's wondering what it means. He's confused. So he knows someone is coming that's friendly. He can at least tell that it's friendly. He thinks that it might be Teo, but he's not sure. It's been a while. And he's got two sick pups. Fallow is on death's door. He does not know what to do. And Fallow's fine. Whoa! <laughs> thank heaven! Oh, thank heaven! Oh my goodness. But that means that Mikhail needs to find food, like right now. He's gonna put the pups kind of back in. But it's absolutely getting close to the time that Teo would show up, so we have got to get food. Whoa! Wow, that was lucky. Don't know how that happened, um, but here's an elk calf, so let's go. Ooh, Kirby, please be careful, Kirby. Goodness, Kirby. Oh, we did it. Now, this is only gonna feed Kirby and Mikhail, but if Kirby will let Mikhail have some of it, they could regurgitate some of this meat or at least spend a little more time looking for other food. Are you serious? You are an endless pit, woman. An endless pit? His pups are far more important to him, so he's following a mule deer scent and hopes that there are fawns he can take down for his pups. But following their trail has been proving difficult. He's very distracted. He feels like he needs to get home, but he's got to find food for his pups. He's still worried about Fallow, even though she had told him she's feeling better. Heidi is now running a fever. There's a lot going on, and Mikhail has to hurry. Well, that was a disappointment. No fawns for Mikhail, only one lone female doe. That's just not gonna do it. He's come across another elk herd, 
but he really needs something he can take home to his pops. And this just isn't it. Ow. <laughs> they always get that one last hit in the end. Like, they're, they're just mad, which I can understand. We just took their baby's life. But she, uh, she ran over me and made it known. She was very angry with me. But now we have food, and we are taking it back to our pops. And now Mikhail is back with fresh food for his pups and he can see a familiar figure on the horizon his brother his brother's mate and their pups are all approaching and mikhail is overjoyed to see that he's safe and when teo finally reaches mikhail he simply just says brother and Mikhail can't help himself but walk forward and wrap his head around Teo, leaning his chin on the back of Teo's scruff. And for a moment, it feels like family again. After a short exchange of introductions, Mikhail is going to state that perhaps as a family they should rest. Their journey seemed long, the pups could use the rest, and the healing, especially for Fallow's sake. And so as a family, trusting each other despite still being apart for so long, they sleep. So now we're just waiting on Kestrel. Teo's pups are already just howling to go because they have reached their full weight. But Kestrel is still a little small, and so Mikhail is asking if they can stay a few more days. And during that time, they're going to catch up and Teo is going to talk to Mikhail about the life he had after the incident with the coyotes. He's going to talk about Seraph and what he's been told. And Mikhail is going to listen with an open heart. Kirby and Sundance are going to awkwardly talk to each other. There's uh, no problems with them. It's just... <laughs> They're a little unsure on how to get along. Sundance is very hyper and excitable and she's full of light and love. And it's not that Kirby doesn't have those things, she just doesn't show it very well. She's very gruff and too business and she kind of likes a little, uh, <laughs> a little rough and tumble. And Sundance is not that. And so they're trying to find a middle ground right now, but it's only been the first few days. But the family is going to do what they are truly meant to do at the summer rendezvous site and continue to lounge and relax while the pups grow as they wait for the right time to leave and change locations for these pups to learn how to be wolves and not puppies any longer. And we've done it! Mikhail has successfully raised his pups. And as the pack howls together, knowing that it's time, Mikhail and Teo making plans of where they're going to go and raise these pups and teach them how to be real wolves. Amongst all the howling of the family, Mikhail is going to hear a desperate, dry howl on the horizon. One that he recognizes very well. And he will continue to howl back. He knows something is gravely wrong. And through all this howling, he hears another familiar howl that he recognizes as Aurora. And he knows that Aurora is on her way to join them to make the journey together. But that desperate howl he keeps hearing, he knows, is dusk, but he doesn't hear dawn. And so when Aurora gets here, they're going to go and find dusk. And the story, we know how that continues from there. I'm glad Heidi healed. <laughs> well, y'all, I really, really hope that you liked this series. I hope you like how I'm tying everything together and I cannot wait to start writing these stories. I keep saying, I'm gonna stop saying it and start doing it. <laughs> but get ready for pup reveal next week. We're gonna have a big pup reveal with Teo on Wednesday, Mikhail on Saturday. 
and our Sundays until we can determine who is going to take over the Ovarian pack from Seraph's side. We're going to do a lot of wolf talks, discussing Seraph, discussing her pups, discussing Dusk. Dusk is a big one that I've been talking about for a while now. I know many of you are really excited to hear the Dusk wolf talk, but like I said in a previous episode, there's more to Dusk than just, you know, oh, because he ate that calf, it was all his fault. You know, it didn't help. It certainly uh, caused a sequence of events to happen. But I think Dusk deserves a little bit of redemption in his story. And for y'all to know what happened after when Mikhail and Dusk finally come together and Dusk tells Mikhail that his daughter is gone. And so get ready for that wolf talk. But until then, tickle and poke that like button, subscribe to join our family if you haven't already, and jingle the bell to get notified so you know when that wolf talk comes out. Also join Discord and or follow me on Twitch so you can hang out with me in the community on other platforms. I love you guys. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you next week for the big pup reveal. Bye!